ruling on wearing one pair of socks over another when one did wudu wiping over the first pair. Praise be to Allah. Yes, it is permissible to wipe over the second pair of socks if he puts them on over socks that he had wiped over because he puts them on when he was in a state of purity. So that comes under the general meaning of the words of the, of the Prophet wasallam in the hadith narrated by Urwa ibn al-Mughira from his father who said, I was traveling with the Prophet wasallam and I reached out to take his khufuf off his feet. And he said, let them be, for I put my feet in them when they, my feet, were pure after doing wudu. And he, wiped over, and he wiped over them, narrated by Al-Bukhari. And Nawawi, rahimahullah, said, If he put on the khufuf, leather slippers, when he was in a state of purity, then he broke his wudu and wiped over them. Then he put on the jarmuq, a kind of large khuf that is worn over the regular khuf. When he was in a state of purity in which he had wiped over the khuf when he did wudu, then there are two well-known opinions as to whether it is permissible to wipe over them. The, jarmuk. the first opinion is that it is permissible to wipe over them because he puts them on when he was in a state of purity. And the second opinion is that it is not permissible because that was an incomplete purification. That is how many of the scholars look at it. The more correct view is that it is not permissible to wipe over them. Others said that the more correct opinion is that it is permissible to wipe over them. This is the opinion of Sheikh Abu Hamid. It may be understood from the words of Ar-Rafi'i and others that this, the second view, is more correct and it is the view that is to be favoured. Because he puts them on in a state of purity, their saying that it is an incomplete purification is not acceptable. End quote. Shaykh ibn Uthaymeen, may Allah have mercy on him, said, If he put on khufuf, then broke his wudu, then he wiped over them, then put another pair of khufuf over the first mm-hmm. pair, when at the time of putting on the second pair, he is in a state of purity for which he wiped over the first khufuf, then the view of Imam Ahmad is that the ruling on wiping applies to the first pair, because he put on the second pair after breaking his wudu. Some of the scholars said, if he put on the second pair when he was in a state of purity, it is permissible for him to wipe over them, because it is true to say of him that he put his feet into them when they were in a state of purity. The Prophet ﷺ said, For I put my feet in them when they, my feet, were pure. This includes purity attaining, attained by both washing and wiping. This is a strong view as you can see and it is supported by the fact that our companions, radiallahu anhum, that our companions, may Allah have mercy on them, stated that wiping over the khufuf removes impurity. So he put on the second pair when in a state of complete purity. So why shouldn't he wipe over them? But if he puts the second pair on when he did not have wudu, then he cannot wipe over them because when he puts them on, he was not in a state of purity. And Allah knows best.